what are the benefits of data virtualization? So the challenges that most organizations are facing now are really about managing the, the large volumes of data which continue to grow. It's also becoming more disparate because it's being spread across the cloud, on-premise, software as a service. Uh, other challenges they have are the, the format of the data is becoming more disparate, structured, unstructured, and so on. And also the velocity of the data, so the speed with which it's changing. So looking for a way of being able to combine the data in a very effective and agile manner is a big challenge for most organizations. Data virtualization is a solution to that by allowing a logical or a virtual layer to protect the users from all the complexities of the data underneath while still giving them a, a single view of everything that's going on in the enterprise subject to security and so on. Yeah. So it's, it brings that agility to the business is the top line. Yeah. Yeah, makes sense, makes sense. And obviously AI itself is, a, is an incredibly hot topic at the moment. How can companies leverage AI, machine learning, et cetera, et cetera, when it comes to that data integration and data management as well? Yeah, that's a very good point. Uh, and we're seeing a lot of organizations that want to aggregate lots of disparate sources in order to get those AI uh, insights. And of course, the more sources they can combine easily, the better those insights. The other challenge, of course, is, is the real-time nature. So the virtualization gives them the ability to access hundreds of different sources, right from you know IoT data, social media, geospatial data, but also structured data and other sources, and feed that into AI algorithms to be able to learn and gain from those. So it's a very important component of, of an AI strategy. Yeah, yeah. And a little birdie just told me as well that you're doing a talk around uh, data mesh uh, while you're at the event. Could you give us a little sneak peek of that? No spoilers? Yeah, well, uh, a lot of organizations now are looking to federate the ownership of the data and create data products in line with the data mesh strategy. Yeah. And, and again, the, the challenge for organizations is if you, if you disperse that ownership, you need to still maintain centralized control around things like governance, security, audit. Uh, and so virtualizing gives you this common layer so that irrespective of the complexities of the different data formats underneath, you've got this consistent view. A bit like when you use Spotify, you can see all the music, even though you, there's no music there, it's out somewhere else, and you get it when you want it. It's kind of what works with the data virtualization there. So it facilitates a data mesh strategy, create these data products, uh, and then have federated ownership in the domains so they can access and manage and control the data. Yeah. For more tech news, visit em360tech.com.